Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I hope everybody's uh, comfortable and can pretty much see what's going on from here. Because the, uh, the sky is actually looking so beautiful at the moment, we, what I'll probably do is pull down the parasols so they're completely out the way. They can go back if we need to, and we've got about 30 or 40 parasols inside if something all goes wrong. But in the meanwhile, I just want to say thank you for a fabulous evening and to welcome you to Francis Yard and to um, thank you for trusting your, your, your evening with us. Um, this is the 14th year we've been doing this, something like that. Anyhow, uh, they seem to be getting better and better and everything, all the ingredients are in place right now to um, just raise the bar. This is a young lady who's been on tour now for the last two months uh, in a couple of weeks' time when she goes back to uh, California. She would have been on the road for across, right the way across, lit literally all the way across Europe for two and a half months. And her name is Natalie Gelman. I uh, found you on SoundCloud, I think, mm -hmm. and started kind of uh, saying, listen, if you want to come over to the UK, if you plan to come over. And she said, well, I'm actually planning at the moment. So we hooked something up quite early on and uh, he, she's come an awful long way to see you. So would you please make her feel extraordinarily welcome. Natalie Gelman. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks so much, Richard, for having me. It really was a uh, serendipity how uh, and it's gorgeous. And we've got the great sky, got everything. You're here. Why is that funny? Is there something I don't know? It's been really interesting trying to ma uh, make jokes in foreign languages. Some of them went really well, like, voulez-vous avec moi ce soir? Except when I screwed up. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm um, having a lot of fun and um, I've got some, some songs to share with you tonight. This one is a fairly new one. I moved from New York City to California. I grew up in New York City. And I was 25 and I was signing a deal and I with with these big producers and I thought I had everything figured out. I thought I knew everything. <laughs> and I realized I knew nothing pretty fast. And in between realizing I knew nothing and realizing how great that was, I wrote this song. It's called The Answer. Life made me some promises you never meant to keep Set me up to break me down in places where I'm weak Held me up against each day, hope on the soles of my feet But life made me some promises you never meant to keep Love took my heart before It wandered off to find Something prettier and lovelier Than what it left behind It didn't mean to break me That's just it Love took my heart before it up and left me blind. And I never known just how strong my soul had grown, just how wild my old dreams had become. Till I And forgot who I was yesterday No longer held to the place I'm from The answers come more often Than the questions you seek If you're giving when it's hard when life has got to be Maybe what's important ain't the truth Or the lie But to hold up your words And 
So you guys have been in the tube. I've yet to play in the tube, but I in New York I grew up and I started street performing in the subways when I was 16. I uh, used to go to the bars and try to play in the bars in the East and West Village, and they started picking up on the fact that I wasn't old enough to be in there, <laughs> and so I had to find a new venue. And uh, I do a lot of people watching down there. Do you guys watch each other on the tube? You do. Okay. It feels a little awkward. I mean, I just end up talking to people because I'm always lost or... I don't know. I just always talk to people here. But this is my, my song about street performing and watching my neighborhood change. The West Village. and It's called Street Lamp Musician.
Thank you. Does your dog have some sorrows down there? Something to sing about? Um, speaking of singing, will you guys sing with me? All right. I'm going to teach you a song of mine. Just not very ac actually teach it to you, but more through the process of repetition. <laughs> I hope you'll learn it. <laughs> it's called Some People. And uh, you're really good at doing that. <laughs> I just looked over and realized he's balancing on the wall and the stage. and um, So this song I just, just wrote recently and it's going to go on my new CD. And um hmm I was inspired to write it from Instagram of all places. You guys on Instagram? A friend of mine posted posted this and I thought those are lyrics. That has to be a song. And uh I wrote it and I wasn't quite sure I could play it because it wasn't from this like really organic moment. And I've had uh, lots of moments since then that remind me of, of uh, why it's important to sing. It's really about gratitude. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Here's some people. you had a room It gets the perfect light in June Put a smile on your face Fill your eyes with grace Your perfect little I got a letter from you, friend Said it's the beginning of Do you want to sing it? Here we go. 
Some people are so poor. Some people are so poor. Some people are so poor. All they have is money. All right, so I know you guys think you're watching me. But I have a, a secret to tell you. I'm watching you. And if you're not singing, I'm coming for you. I don't know any of you. Uh-oh, be careful. You got her. OK. <laughs> so I'm going to come for you if you're not singing. So you have another chance. I'm looking at you guys who weren't singing. Some people are so poor. Some people are so poor. Some people are so poor. All they have is money. Pretty good. Cameraman's still not going for it, though. What, you don't sing? You're just behind the camera. I think everyone can sing. I, I hate it when people are told when they're little that they can't sing and to just mouth the words and to like let the rest of the kids sing. You guys not singing, is that what you were told? Or did your spouse tell you that? Hmm. I'll have more secrets. I'll let you guys off the hook. We'll just do it one more time. But I'm going to get to you. Let's send it home. Some people are so poor. Sounds so good. Some people are so poor. Some people are so poor. All they have is money. That was awesome, you guys. Are some of you feeling braver? I drove on the Autobahn. That was my brave feat for this whole tour. I, uh, growing up in New York City, I didn't start driving till very late, basically about four and a half, five years ago. <laughs> so I'm getting on these freeways going, you all don't know how dangerous this is. <laughs> how fast can this car go? <laughs> that was your moment inside my brain. Okay. Um, I do get a lot of my inspiration when I'm driving because it's kind of the only time when I'm not behind my computer booking shows and trying to get people to those shows and find a flight to get myself to those shows and all of that stuff. Um, I do this all my, myself. So my car, or a rental car, is where I find lots of inspiration. And um, I live now in a really small, wonderful town that's got about 8,000 people, but we still have traffic much to my songwriting's delight. <laughs> On weekends, we have people come up from LA and I was stuck in this weekend traffic and started writing, writing this song. You'll hear it in the first few lines. It's very autobiographical on the traffic. <laughs> this is called Heavy, Heavy Heart.
Every time you hesitate, I shut down and give myself away, just like you. Careful what you speculate, every day you overthink the truth, like you do. Heavy, heavy heart, sinking like a stone, stop it before we start going in alone. I'm a little thing, you know what we are, living in this world of heavy, heavy heart. Oh, oh. Everybody's waiting, everybody's waiting for saving just like us we leave the way we came and leave the way we came and leave the way we came in on a cloud of dust heavy heavy heart sinking like a stone stop before we start going in Thanks. Thank you. It's on. There we go. Um, I'm so stoked to um, have this piano to play for you guys. Hattie's very kindly letting me borrow it for three or four minutes. And um, she's amazing. I don't know if you guys were here for her sound check, but I was doing my makeup and drawing outside the lines because I was closing my eyes and mesmerization. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> um, but, okay, let's play some piano. So I, uh, I grew up playing the piano, and then I didn't play it for about 10 years and I recently picked it up again for for songwriting it's uh, been a little bit of a muse and this is the last song I wrote on here this is called um, Unloving You Because I can't stop 
do one more on the piano. Gotta have a glass of wine at a piano, yeah? So this, that was the last song I've written on the piano, and uh, this was the first one that brought me back to this beast. I had a horrible piano teacher growing up. Her name was actually Miss Sharp, and uh, she was a friend of my classical violin, and um, very Juilliard crazy. He's not watching. Me and Michelle on because I just wanted to learn by ear. And uh, anyways, so I started hating this piano. And uh, when you don't know. You're running from you run faster than you let carry you. Suddenly, the thing you fear becomes the thing that just through. Don't know what I'm afraid of, but I know that when I love, it makes me strong. Yeah. 
totally lied to you. That was not No Heartache Day. <laughs> um, I do, I'm working on this new record, so if you want to hear it, you'll have to keep an eye out for when that's done. Um, got a couple more for you, and I want to tell you guys, I want to share something with you, because I want you to sing on this one too. This is a song I wrote. It's a love song. Who's in love here? All right. This is, even if you're not in love, you should love yourself. Love your own reflection in the mirror. I don't think that's vain. That probably sounds really vain. But I think that that's probably the hardest thing, actually. Anyways, that's got nothing to do with this song. <laughs> or what I'm about to share with you. Um, I had this wonderful teacher in high school, a choir teacher. And he taught me, well, he taught me lots of things, but he, he shared with us two things that have stuck with me. And the first one was that singing out of tune was like urinating on the Mona Lisa. You just don't do it. That stuck with me. And the other, which he told to horny high school students, was that singing or making music together was the second most intimate thing you could do with somebody. So, if you're here with your honey and you want to wanna have a great Saturday night, I'm trying to keep this PG. <sighs> so, if you're here with your honey, this is like a great aphrodisiac to sing to them. Uh, right, ladies? Do you like a guy who sings? Some nervous giggling? So yeah, guys, do you like a, a girl who sings? Yeah? Okay. It's been established. Awkwardly, but established. You're allowed to laugh when you look at each other's faces the first few times you sing, and then after that, I'm going to say, no laughing. You must sing with a, like you mean it. Okay, here we go. You put the beats in my heart Line them up like the edges Of a song I used to know Sang me to sleep And woke me up inside a dream all my wishes coming 
gonna be our part. <laughs> Your part, his part, her part, our part. Jump in when you know it. Just one word. You guys scared? Cause it's high? It's not that high, girls. Alright, you can all sing down the octave if you like. Uh, uh, uh. We gotta slow it down if you're gonna do that. You getting it down? You almost ready to look in your lover's eyes and sing to them? Serenade them? Who here has never serenaded their lover? Most of you. This is sad. You gotta do it. It's almost better if you're horrible at it. It really is. Because then that's true love. Last chance, look at me. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for more? Is there anybody there? We want more. We want Hattie. But what about Natalie? Was she good or was she great? Natalie, let's hear a big round of applause for Natalie, please. We are about to go live with the second part. This is a young lady who, for different, all sorts of different reasons, it's taken almost a year to bring her here. And I'm so excited. Would you please, this is an English rose. She's a singer-songwriter. I, my emails have said, look, this is Carol, Carol as good as Carol King's music and Eva Cassidy's voice. And if you kind of have a combination like that, this is dynamite. You are witnessing gold. I do hope you'll buy one of her CDs at the end of all of this, but even before we get there, are we able to get rid of that buzz there, Jonathan? We are, because Jonathan's brilliant. But would you please make a big noise and make her feel very welcome. She's here tonight being accompanied by Henry. And we're there. Are we there? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, would you make a big noise for Hattie Briggs? Yes. Thanks very much. Um, what a pleasure to be here, and not in the thunder and lightning, which I was assured on every single weather channel that it was going to be. So that's a bit of a relief. We thought we'd have a bit of extra percussion, but it's all good. So um, I've just released a new album, my debut album. We'll play um, quite a few songs from that, but we'll sort of add in some old favourites and a few newbies as well. Um, this first one is a song um, about a man called Pete Seeger, who I'm sure many of you um, will know. He, he um, was one of the first to use folk music for political activism and inspired a whole generation of musicians, people like Bob Dylan. And uh, he passed away just last year before the Folk Awards. And his half-sister Peggy Seeger stood up and, um, and spoke about Pete. And one of the things that she said that he used to say uh, was that he didn't write the songs, he only wrote them down. And I thought that was kind of inspiring. So uh, I wrote a song about Pete. And uh, this one's called A Beautiful Mind. They say you are the one they call the wordsmith They say the songs you only wrote them down I 
heard you suffered for your fortune I heard it never dragged you down You had a beautiful mind You had a beautiful face You had a way of talking And then no word went to waste They say your notebook stayed open They say your heart never closed I've seen the walls that you kicked off Man behind, I'll never know. You had a beautiful mind. You had a beautiful face. You had a way of talking, man, that no word went to waste. No word went to waste. Uh, this is a song that I wrote for a great friend of mine. Uh, this one's called Tilly's Song. This one's about a friend I've known for years. Tilly, oh, you're this. Because a pocket full of promises won't do. My eye, old friend, I've sewn this one for you. Looking back through time, my memory sing of rushing round the summertime and moon. Like wildflowers and meadow scenes we grew. My eye, old friend, Matilda, here's to you. My eye, old friend, my eye, old friend. 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 Many a time I've stepped into your shoes Though mine may be bigger, you stepped in mine too When flames flicker out, your fire is true My eye, old friend, Matilda, here's to you My eye, old friend, Matilda, here's to you my eye, old friend Matilda, here's to you.
Thank you. What a lovely audience. It's so lovely to look down and while Hattie's singing and see everyone completely transfixed and listening carefully. It's beautiful. Thanks, guys. Can I introduce to you Mr. Henry Fraser, everybody? Henry's actually the man responsible, although he probably will disagree with me. But had Henry Fraser not been at an open mic night in Oxford a couple of years ago, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. So he's a decent bloke, this one. <laughs> uh, we're going to play you a new song now. Uh, this song, well, it's called You Only Live Once, um, possibly shortened to yolo but i don't know if that's okay i think maybe it's a bit uncool so yolo we haven't decided yet whether to go with that anyway uh, this is a new one Reaching out when I'd use my time Keeping quiet Just holding wildly gonna be a bit daring now and play a um, that we didn't write um, this is by a band called the Civil War French either but um, they're an American duo the one half of the duo the girl half beautiful song and uh, what so can I have a guitar um, off, off the other input this one so I'm finger picking on this one Thank you. Uh, yeah, so this song is called Quand je marche dans la rue, la rue vers le sacré cœur, je me suis. Seulement 
Tu as peut-être raté Tu ne peux peut-être pas me pardonner Thank you very much. I once did a gig actually where my fr uh, my French teacher from school actually happened to be in the audience for that one. So that was a bit of a nail biter. It was all right, luckily. Uh, this is a song that I wrote about my dog, um, who's sort of a bear, really, more of a bear than a dog. And uh, he's 15 years old. He's that dog that I've grown up with all the way along. And he sort of holds a special place in my heart. And um, I was thinking about all the good times that we'd spent together over the years, and I thought it was a bit sad that he wouldn't really remember them the same way that I would. But I thought it was okay as long as he remembered me. So I wrote this song about Panda, the bear dog, and uh, this one's called Old Eyes. <laughs> So still when the day is gone. Mm -hmm. Blue Ridge, and I took you down to the railway bridge in the sunshine. We stayed all day because the weather was fine. Your eyes are gone And 
When I think of all those times we spent together, I'll picture you forever young. I'll picture you. Thank you. You got the best seat in the house. Nice one. There's actually a music video of that song and it's basically just me taking my dog for a walk around where we live and um, he pretty much the show. He's super and some amazing. Yeah. Um, so this is another album. This one's called Happy in Your Lights off and nights when you did flatline and no one find you. No filling me, nothing we can be. Yet, feeling your smile, breathing for a while. Take a day at a time, at least for now. You're mine, and you're a loyal one, hiding nothing underneath. Yet there's burning when you leave a fire that shows you easily. How I die up in your Thank you. Okay, we're going to play you another new one. Uh, this one's called On Your Way. Take a trip down the highway You never know when your next chance will come I've got a funny feeling it's your day Go ahead and find you some fun Give a little And hear the life Shout your name Let love Make your day When you feel nothing Come what may Then you'll know you're on You'll know you're on your way If you make a choice 
choice, make a good one. No regrets is a great place to be. A smile on your face when it's all done. Not everything's about me. So give a little and heal life. Shout your name. There's a light in everything and heal life. Let alone know you're on. You're on your way. Hear out your name. Make your day. When you feel nothing, come what may. Then you'll know you're on. You'll know you're on. Thank you. I'm going to play a cover now of a song that was originally by Sting and Eva Cassidy did a very famous version of it and uh, and it was her version that I grew up listening to. Amazing thing happened with this one on the album. Uh, ended up that um, Dan Cassidy, Eva's brother, the violin solo on it and also co-produced it. Um, thanks to my producer who's hiding in that room up there. <laughs> um, Organised the whole thing. So uh, uh, it's called Fields of Gold and I hope you like my version.
Many years have passed since the summer days among the fields of barley. See the children run as the sun goes down, as you lie in fields of gold. You remember me when the west wind moves among the fields of barley, and you can tell the sun in its jealous sky. When we walked in fields of gold, when we walked in fields of gold, when we walked in fields of gold. Thank you very much. song now that I wrote when my brother went off to start working abroad. Uh, this one's sort of about growing up and leaving home and thinking about the old days. So this one's called Godspeed. Just not me. And homes apart, of us in every heart when we breathe, we feel it. So, brother, let's slow down a while. We'll fight in the back seat.
takes pity on no Uh, this this next one is uh, is on my album and it's also um, on my EP. It's sort of a, just an acoustic version on my EP, and then we, then we decided to put a whole load of nice strings and things behind it, a lot of nice production on the album. And uh, this one's called "Share Your Heart." to write a love song when you've never been in love the age
Thank you. Hen's going to depart, so can we say a big thank you to Hen? Well done, Hen. Uh, this next one um, is called Still With Hope I See. Tell me something I don't know then If you've heard it all before And wake me up when we get there You don't sleep at all no. You don't sleep at all Is it Expect this of you now, and is it wrong of me not to know fall and doubt when I look at you with wounded eyes? It's still with hope I see. I'll sing that song that sounds. Like silence, cause I've sung them all before. And you don't listen anyhow. Well, you used to ask for more, you used to ask for more. So is it wrong of me? expect this of you now and is it wrong of me not to know where fall and doubt when I look at you with wounded eyes it's still with hope I see it's still you again you said what's the point this time but what's the point to anything you didn't realize the harm you said it's wrong of me to expect this of you now and it's wrong of me not to know if falling down but when I look Still with hope I see It's still with hope I see Thank you. I apologize for playing a couple of depressing ones in a row. I will play a less depressing one. Uh, this is another one from the album. This one's called All About Love. I ever 
told you to have and to hold you keeps me from feeling inside out with days that rush by in the blink of an eye i think i now know what it's all about love it's all about Sometimes in my mind we're all the same kind me and you it's at those times I feel so blind I guess that's what loves in It's all cause of you Have I ever told you to have and to hold you Keeps me from feeling inside out With days that rush by in the blink of an eye I think I now know what it's all about Love It's all about It's all about love It's all about love And I try to speak But I can't get the words out Is it stupid to say that I'm scared? Mm. Have I ever told you to by in the blink of an eye I think I now know what it's all about love it's all about love it's all about love it's all about Thank you. Um, thank you very much. You've been such a lovely audience. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. I have to say I've never played a gig like this. This is one of a kind, so thank you, Richard. Um, and thank you all for coming along. I'm just going to play you one more song. Um, and then please um, come chat to us. Um, do come and say... Um, yeah, please come and say hi. And um, I'm selling lots of merch. I've got CDs, and we've just printed vinyl of the album as well, uh, which is very exciting because I, I love that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, come and say hi, and uh, I'll be signing things and selling things. And this last song um, is is one that I wrote a couple of years ago, just when I was sort of thinking that I wanted to do music as a career. And um, this one's kind of about my fears of the music industry and being turned into some sort of generic pop star, like one of Simon Cowell's lot or something like that. Um, and this one is called Pull Me Down. If you and me, would you take yourself seriously? Would you think it was your world? For the taking, for the making, would you Roll the dice in wisdom's hand Make sure you understand where you're going This, this time around If you and me would you let yourself think dangerously Say this was your world No mistaking No breaking into 
If I get up high, if I get up late, if I change the numbers on my number plate, well, I am not the same, am I? Though I swore I'd change, come pull me down, down, pull me down, pull me down. If you would you let them change? Breaking, breaking while you tell if there's something more all your friends are sure where you go Thank you very much. Thanks, Richard, for having us. And uh, thanks, Natalie, as well. Thanks, everybody. Hattie Briggs, what a girl, what a voice. Did I tell you? We cannot possibly, possibly go without asking you, please, Hattie, can we get, first of all, we didn't really acknowledge Henry big enough, in a big enough way. So let's get Henry back on the stage. Yes. 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 And we're going to get another couple of songs out of Hattie, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Hattie Briggs, make a noise. Thank you. Forgive us, we have to retune for a second.
we're going to do something really crazy, and um, we're going to play you a Christmas song. Just because, you know, it's about to be summer, so I think it's about the right time. Well, I'm, a, I'm an Aussie, and this is what our Christmas is like, so, you know, you can have an Aussie Christmas experience. And um, this one, I wrote this song um, last year, and we're, we're just re- I've been in the studio today, and, and we're in there tomorrow as well, uh, recording this one to release at Christmas. And um, this is, when I wrote this song, I kind of had in mind um, somebody, a dad or a, somebody um, who's been away for a long time, someone who's working abroad, somebody in the army, coming home for Christmas, that kind of thing. Um, and this one's called Turn On The Lights. Thank you. I'll probably forget to play it at Christmas now. now I'm gonna I'm gonna play you now. Uh, the last song is gonna be another Eva Cassidy song, and uh, this is another. One. This one's called Autumn. See your lips, the summer kisses, the sunburn hand 
hands I used to hold Since you went away The days grow spider on my back. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Cheers. Well, all right. <laughs> How very good was that? Oh, thank you, Hattie. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Where's Natalie? And Natalie, too. She bought her heart. And I want to say thank you also to you guys and also to thank you to Johnny Cards. Who, did anybody see any magic by Johnny Cards tonight? Yeah, how good is that? Okay, and his, and his brother's going to be coming here gigging soon, so get ready for that too. Um, I want to thank Paula for making the chicken supper tonight. Did everybody kind of get enough to eat? Did, you, did we kind of eventually get there? And uh, Carmen, who's away on holiday now, first holiday in about 18 months. I drive them hard here. Um, and so... Um, Anyway, listen. And I Jonathan, the sound engineer. Oh, hold on, absolutely. Jonathan, where are you? Can you come out from behind your tent? This is Jonathan, who is the most professional sound engineer in the world. He has such a big future ahead of him. He is absolutely extraordinary. He, he is also responsible for this being broadcast and sent out around the world where there are about four or five times as many people as there are here tonight watching. Uh, you too can watch tonight's events and uh, go back and uh, savour it over and over again. Please do do that. Um, but in order to help savour tonight's event, there's a really good way you can do that. And it also helps to keep music live. And there are some CDs, there are some EPs, there's some vinyl. Um, they range from £7 for the EP. There's a £10 uh, CD and uh, album, that is. And if you buy them both together, that's just 15 rather than 17 pounds. And, and, I know the kitchen team, I'm going to come back to the kitchen team. Um, the albums are 20 pounds, so for you vinyl heads, please just get it because it's a piece of history you're buying, not just what happened tonight. 
Um, and as you see, you heard kind of two musicians here. I know, I mean, there was a guy here who's a couple of weeks ago by the name of uh, Barney Morse Brown who loop pedals a cello and keyboard and drums and what have you. And he was extraordinary. He's one of the guys who backs, and uh, has he played in your, in your albums? Or yeah. He's on the album. Well, he's an extraordinary artist in his own right. And the reason why I'm kind of really taken, not least with, with Hattie's music, is the fact that she has got so many really good and talented people, all of whom who are backing and kind of pushing her forward. So you have been witness tonight to a, a, a sp two special artists. Hattie's going from here to Cambridge Folk Festival. So if you haven't got your tickets, hurry along to see her there. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, I can't remember what the date is, but it's in early, 4th of July. And we, I think we've got the three pilgrims. But before I go, I just want to say this tonight's gig actually went from being uh, like 35 people to nearly 80 people in the space of 24 hours. And the team of people who I work with here, from Zach, uh, who's 14 or 15, just turned 15, I think. He's not nodding. He's n they're not listening. Um, Manu and his sister, Deep, and Manuela, and uh, we also have Noah here. And not least Paula, who kind of runs around catching all the balls that I drop. Um, they've done really well. I'm surrounded by really good people, and you've kind of added to that quality of my life tonight. So thank you for being here. Do come back. Do tell your friends where you were. And do buy an album. Thank you. The party is not over. If you'd like to have another drink, get our attention and we will do what we can to look after you. If you are going back in towards the kitchen, it's always helpful if you can take something in with you. Uh, we're open again tomorrow. It's Father's Day. If you're a father tomorrow, celebrate yourself. Take care. Thank you. <laughs>